Right. Whoever came but up with the afraid. idea was a huge Barstool fan mm-hmm. with the Bruins. Whoever came up with this idea, um, whatever his name is, is a uh, is a huge Kirk Minahan fan. Exactly. So then here comes the backlash. And what happens when the backlash gets People going? People run. Right. People run but and sprint away. The Bruins showed a little balls. They did it right. They yeah, will they do the it towels? next year, though? No, they won't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. See? That, and then they think, well, is it worth it? Well, yes, it is, you idiots, because it's loyalty and it's business. And these people who are protesting don't give a shit about you and never spend their money with you anyway. Right. So instead now, now I have to go up to Maine disgraced, embarrassed, yeah. and well, go up to Madawaska, which is now 50-50, <laughs> to, to deal with this shit. It's going to be tough. But just remember, you're getting a key to the town. Try and keep that in mind. Big it's, a, it's a difference between northern Maine and southern Maine. Northern Maine, you get all kinds of respect. Right. You, you got to be the king get, of southern get, Maine. I mean, people northern lining Maine. up to give you red snappers and keys to uh, the town and... But he's been, the Red Claws have been blowing us on social media for months. I know. So I don't understand. It's because it's just true. It's like, just, how would the Celtics not have noticed that? Right. <laughs> you know? it, it's true. I mean, what the fuck? Well, well there's, a, there's, a, there's a gap there. It's definitely, it's one guy who controls that Twitter account, loves the show, and, let's be and thinks he can be cheeky and fun and interactive. That's and the guy you talked to yesterday. Yes. And try and try. Okay, and we have another guy who did that footprint. Did that 60 second read for the Red Claws. Uh, yeah. With all the Minifan drops. Yeah, Remember he, that? He freelances, he freelances as well. for the Red Claws. If not for uh, the Minifans going on February 6th, there's going to be a hell of a lot more people on Twitter than there are at that game. Oh, there's no question. About, oh, listen, they, they, don't know what, they don't know what they've walked into now. Mm. They have opened a shitstorm that they will never be able to stop. Mm. I'll fucking cast the Red Claws down there with the fucking Sodomites. I'll do it. <laughs> brick by brick. I, brick by brick. By mm. brick. The hot I keep dog saying stand, it, Steve. Gone. <laughs> no. Ta- Taco Falls t-shirts? <laughs> gone. Oh. Gone. Lower ourselves a burning party. We <laughs> dancing for miles like wild engines. <laughs> I have no is- no issue with it. Pull you out of that one bunk, Hilton, and cast you down with the sodomites. <laughs> it's like the best line of movie history, I think. So long, Red Claws. <laughs> <laughs> that, that pretzel stand? Gone. <laughs> Those foam fingers? You think you've been fucked by a train. <laughs> <laughs> that is that such, might be a better line. Such graphic imagery. The idea. Play the whole thing. That's <laughs> my favorite speech in movie history. Stops. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I think I've said this before. Ironically, it's a basketball game. You know, they always play at the games like these rah rah speeches after coming out of a timeout. Yep. It'd be so great if they just played this. One time. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is just staring at what the, what's going on. They're ch- covering their children's ears. <laughs> well, you will do the hardest time there is. No more protection from the guards. I'll pull you out of that one bunk, Hilton. Cast you down with the sodomites. You'll think you've been fucked by a train. In the library? Gone. Sealed off brick by brick. We'll have us a little book barbecue in the yard. We'll see the flames for miles. We'll dance around it like wild engines. You understand me? Catching my drift? Or am I being obtuse? It's just the greatest speech of all time. Catching our drift, Evans? Am I being obtuse? <laughs> Book barbecue. We'll do it, too. I, I mean, I have no problem. And we will get a massive protest in front of there. Massive. And you would think, to I'm be huge honest, in Maine. you huge. would think Evans would know not to, you know, tickle our dicks here. Not I mean, to get us hard without letting us come, so to speak. I, I hope he I hope he enjoys what's gonna happen to him. Yeah. Personally and professionally, it's gonna get it's gonna be tough for him. I right. feel bad for him, but it's just what are you what are you saying, Steve? Yeah, he's probably a good guy. He's a fan of the show. He's trying he's trying to make something happen. But he he's, was he's a typical, fan of the typical he, corporate uh, coward over pussy here. over here. He yeah. was a fan I'm of the show. Saying, he's you, know, you, know, you don't want anything to happen to him personally. Scared of the big bad What do you mean? Clause. Like what? Like you don't want his family to leave him. I'm sure I'm sure he's a nice person. I think they should leave him. I'd leave him after this. Yeah. He was my husband. I would fucking leave him in a second because I can't trust him in big spots. Yeah. I'd say only that happened to him physically. I like, I'm sure he's a, a you know a fine person, but well, per, but professionally, I hope misery now. Of course, wouldn't that's a perfectly natural reaction. I want him to be happy. He's, he's why trying to, he's trying to go go to bat for us. No, he's it's not. not. It's not his fault if the Celtics step in yes, and say, is. "Here, you can't oh. do this." It's the person like it's, it's, it's the person in Celtics management let me tell you, let me who tell you is anti. When old Minahan. Evans took took it. Went to bat for us. Swing and a miss, yes. my friend. Yes. Big swing and Whiff. a miss. You went in and out. That's what I would say for that foul shot. Yeah. No luck. What's the name of the arena right now? Look it up. I think it's the Portland Expo. Yeah. Not for long. Expo. That one is taken over. Ex. 
something. I want to take it over after the Battle of TJ yeah, it's Hubbard. the Portland <laughs> Exposition <laughs> Building. Oh, boy, what a name. <laughs> Kirkman Hand Arena is much... Kirkman Hand Show is a much better name than that is. Yeah. Is it on Wikipedia? Uh, yeah. Well, well it's, it's, it's the Portland Expo. That will be the Kirkman Hand Show on Wikipedia by fucking <laughs> oh, <God>. noon today. <laughs> the fucking battle begins today. We have a new enemy. This is great. I mean, there's part of me that's satisfied with this. I would like to have been honored, and I think I would have loved a nice weekend with the Minna fans. But instead, we go to war. It's been a long time, but, you know, ever since Bob Murchison left, Pete, there's been a void. Was it going to be Talib Kali? Kali? No, and now a, it's Big right. Bad Evans. Shirley, The Globe, uh, yeah. you know, any of these, you know, the Emma Rollers of the world? No, 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 no. Right? No. Nope. Yeah. Evans. That's our new enemy now. Evans. Now, one may say, why are you so, you know, uh, hawk-like and the desire to go to war just minutes after decrying war. Mm -hmm. Well, this is different. This is more important. That's why. 